The government's plan to reopen places of worship got underway with the appointment of a 15-member interfaith council headed by Nyeri Diocese Archbishop Anthony Muheria. The team whose term ends at the end of the year is tasked with developing guidelines on when worship places will open their doors, how many people will be allowed in line with social distancing directives, and also how events such as weddings and funerals will be conducted. As Chemutai Goen reports, the country's confirmed cases rose to 3,305 after 90 new cases were confirmed today. <laughs> For close to three months now, the doors of worship places have remained shut to the public. Religious leaders forced to spread the word through digital means after the government put in place containment measures following the pandemic outbreak. And as the country continues to make arrangements to return sectors to normalcy, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiang and his health counterpart Mutahi Kagwe in a Gazette notice have appointed Nyeri Diocese Archbishop Anthony Moheria to head an interfaith council that will oversee the resumption of worship in adherence with social distancing directives. The council includes 14 others who will be tasked with collecting views from Kenyans and other religious leaders on how the centers will reopen. The team has a leeway of co-opting any other person to ensure the final proposal and composes the views of all interested parties. Dr. Kefa Umbacho, Dr. Francis Correa and Paul Fumber will serve as the joint secretaries. Their roles are spelled out in the notice will be to settle on dates for reopening and the number of worshippers allowed into worship centers, develop guidelines for the gradual and progressive resumption of worship that adhere to social distancing, protocols for the celebration of weddings, religious events, funerals, and crematorial last rites. They are also expected to carry out capacity building of all religious leaders to play a role in containing a possible outbreak, especially in their areas of operation. Already a number of churches and mosques have begun effecting safety measures, such as installing sanitizing boots, hand washing points, and acquiring equipment to check temperatures of all coming in. The developments came as the country's confirmed cases rose further, with 90 more testing positive. 72 others were discharged, pushing the number of recoveries to 1,164. Unfortunately, four deaths were recorded. So far, 208 out of the 314 patients that had been placed under the home care program have recovered. They are safe, and they can interact with you. There's no need for stigmatization. They are as good as you are. A success story that home-based care protocols can indeed work. Meanwhile, restaurant operators want the government to extend operating hours to at least 8 p.m. following the extension of curfew to 9 p.m. Some operators have their own arrangements for staff accommodation and transport. However, curfew hours will be observed. The multi-agency team continued to conduct swoops, arresting a number of revelers for flouting containment measures. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.